Our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of John, chapter 20, verse 31. And it says, but these things are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Amen. But these things are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. God requires a few things of us. You know, he requires that we have faith in him. Why is that we have trust in him? And he requires that we believe in him. And if we can do those things, we will get through this journey. We will have a blessed life. We also always will have eternal life because we will go and be with him. But believing in our Lord is, is something that we must have to be able to do. And the word tells us, and I know I have it here, in John 5, 20, 20 in verse, John 5, verse 24, it says, Most assuredly I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from life into death, but has passed from death into life. You know, we were all dead. We were all dead because we did not have the Lord in our life. But then God called us. And he brought us from darkness into light. He brought us from death to life. It's not something we did on our own. It was he who did the work in us to cause us to believe that we need a savior. We need the Lord in our lives. We cannot do these things on our own. And praise the Lord, he called us. He calls everyone. There are some who answer the call and there are some who don't. And those that don't, they're still in darkness. They are still in death. But praise the Lord, we understand that we believe in our Lord. We trust in him. And we have surrendered our lives to him. John 11, verses 25 and 26, it says, and Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, the die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Praise the Lord. This is the question. Do you believe this? We know that our physical bodies will die, but our spirit remains. And that's the part that goes to live with the Lord. All souls belong to God. Souls go to him and we have eternal life. We have that place that he has prepared for each and every one of us, for those who do believe. Now, if you don't believe, that's another story and that's another place. But we have to continue to put our faith and our trust and believe in, in our God. Through all our circumstances, through all our issues, through all our trials and tribulations, just believe that God's going to take care of it. That's all he asks. And if we don't believe, we pray and ask him to help our unbelief. Mark nine, Mark first chapter Mark chapter nine verse twenty four says it's exactly that. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, "Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief." It's okay if we don't believe, but we have to ask God to help us believe because believing is required in the kingdom of God. 
know there will be times when we believe and there will be times when we don't believe. That's just part of the journey. That's part of our faith. That's part of our flesh because our flesh is fighting with the spirit and our spirit is fighting with the flesh. And our flesh does not want us to believe because the devil wants to keep us in that place where we don't believe in Christ. Because as we get closer and closer to the Lord, we start to put our faith and our trust and we believe in him more. And he does not want that to happen. We know that the solution to this is just asking the Lord to help us. It is written, I believe, help my unbelief. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, it says, These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Let us all remember these words today. They have been written for us that we may believe. We will truly have life after this, after death in this body. We will have eternal life. But God wants us to have a good life here now. Because if we believe and we trust in him, you know, he blesses us. He protects us. He helps us. And that's right here, right now. We can have blessings and protection and we can believe now. And we have to believe now. Sometimes when we even don't really feel the presence of the Lord, he's always still there. We go through these things in our journey that God helps us to give us more faith, to help us put our trust in him, to bring us to these places where he wants us to be. And this life is a journey. We go from place to place. He brings us along slowly. We have to just continue to believe that God will finish the good work that he's doing in us because we know he will. It's written in his word. So today, let us continue to just believe. In John 6, verse 69, it says, Also we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Once we get that revelation that he is the Christ, then it's easy for us to believe. We know that he is in charge of everything and in control of everything. He is the one. Praise the Lord for that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. And Lord, it really does come down to if we believe in you, do we put our trust in you, do we have faith in you? And if we don't have that, it's okay. Because we know that you bring us along in our journey. We're all on different journeys and have different paths. And, and some of us have stronger belief than others, but we know that you can help that. We just pray and we give it to you. And if we don't believe, help our unbelief. If we like anything, faith and trust, we give it to you. And you are the one that gives it to us. You will strengthen us. You will help us. You will bless us. And we lift that up to my lift that up to our whole entire flock this morning. That we continue to put our trust and our faith in you and believe your word. Your word is truth. Give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.